Hey guys, I just want to welcome Aiden to the uh, Wellness Key Chiropractic team. Uh, he is an intern here for the next couple of semesters. Uh, you'll see his face uh, kind of sporadically throughout the week. He'll be helping you guys out, moving you, to, helping you to rehab uh, with a wobble. If you have any questions, talk to this guy right here. He's eager to learn. Due to the sciatica pain, in order for anything to work in the body, the brain is the boss, right? It goes from the brain, down the spinal cord, out through those nerves. If those nerves are choked off or subluxated, remember subluxation is a fancy term for stress on the nerves, right? So the vertebrae is either misaligned or fixated, putting pressure on the nerves, no doubt that can contribute towards sciatica pain, okay? So that pain will radiate down the leg. A couple things that we can do to help with that. Obviously, the most important thing is to get adjusted. A couple other things that you can do at home. I have a lacrosse ball here, and so we're going to go just below the belt line, go against the wall, Kind of go side to side, up and down in circles. You'll kind of feel the areas to get into. Uh, so we can do that on one side, and then go and do it on the other side as well. Once you're doing that, try to find a countertop somewhere up high, and you're gonna raise your leg up, hip height, or not hip height, I'm sorry. Uh, you're gonna raise your leg up just like this, and so we can get a nice stretch in the glutes as well as the hammies. Hi guys, Madison here at Wellness Key Chiropractic. Today I wanted to share a couple super effective neck stretches that can help alleviate some of our chronic pain that a lot of us carry right here in our traps. So the first one is just tilting our head to the side. We'll get our hand just letting the weight of our arm gently stretch the side of our head and our neck down into our scapula and our trap. We're not pulling our head down, we're just letting the weight of our arm gently stretch the side of our head. So this can be done throughout the day as many times as we'd like. The next one is we're gonna look down almost at our right leg getting our right hand again, placing that on the back side of our head. We're not pulling our head down, just letting the weight of our hand gently stretch our necks all the way down into our spines. Hey guys, so Halloween is coming up. It's right around the corner. So what me and my family like to do is we like to use vegetables and fruits and we like to uh, make little treats with them. We like to decorate them with spiders, uh, even celery. We like to put peanut butter and put some little fake uh, Halloween eyes. Uh, so happy early ha Halloween, guys. This week I want to go over a, a common success story that we have. 34-year-old female came in after being referred by one of our patients. Uh, maybe like you, she, you know, she's already had three kids, been in multiple traumas throughout her life, and it left her with you know, weekly headaches, neck pain, low back pain, and a couple times a week she would get numbness and tingling down in her arms, hands, and fingers, and I found herself most of the time working in front of a computer screen or in a desk-type situation. We did the x-rays, we did the exam, we took the ranges of motion, and on x-rays, we found uh, that her neck, instead of having her head directly over her shoulders, like it should be, her neck was very much straightening out. And then we saw phase two degeneration, some arthritis in that lower part of the neck, uh, which just makes these nerves more vulnerable to getting pinched, causing some of that numbness and tingling. Happy to report, after about two months, two and a half months of care, uh, no numbness and tingling left. Very rarely has any headaches and is taking zero medications for any of the pain that she was on regularly. So uh, again, we love helping people get to the root cause of their problem, removing the interference so that nervous system so their body can heal itself. Hey, what are three groups of people that chiropractic care can benefit? Uh, number one would be athletes. Athletes are looking to better their uh, performance and so taking away the subluxation from their body would increase their performance. Number two would be car accident victims as they want to get better naturally and uh, faster uh, to get back to what they're used to doing. And number three would be people that to get better with their health and awareness. How does a chiropractor help somebody with numbness and tingling in their hands and fingers? Well, you may notice that you have numbness and tingling in your hands and fingers after sleeping in a funky position maybe cutting hair, maybe sitting at a desk all day long. One of the ways that a chiropractor can help somebody with numbness and tingling in their hands and fingers uh, is by taking stress off these nerves that come out of the lower neck. Oftentimes, the nerves that come out of the neck go to the shoulders, eventually down the arms and to the hands and fingers. Sometimes those nerves are irritated as they exit or go through the wrist, sometimes the elbow. But what I find most commonly is that when that head shifts forward or to the side, we start to put stress called subluxation on those nerves that go down to the arm and into the arm and hands and fingers. So by taking some x-rays and seeing where the problem is, is located, adjusting that neck with my hand, the table, or an instrument, and taking some stress off those nerves, we can relieve some of that numbness and tingling in the hands. You need energy. 
Energy equals money, energy equals production. Last week we asked our patients, how do you increase your energy naturally? Sleep, water, swimming, Lohan Joe, music, beer, I don't know if that's natural or not, prayer, good company, bad bunny, vitamins, and music. Again, how do you increase your energy naturally?